All right, what's up everybody? So for today's video, I decided to skip my normal intro and give you a more up close and personal intro. I'm here on my break, sitting in my car. I promise I won't take up too much of your time. I'm gonna get straight into it, but I wanna talk about this video from Sling the Color Hood. This is actually video number two. Video number one, I will put down in the description so you can check it out. From Sling to Color Hood, what that means to me is from the time I buy a sling at a very, very tiny size until it starts showing some adult colorations. It could also be considered the juvenile stage, but I decided to call it from Sling to Color Hood to make it a little interesting title for my videos. So when I first got into tarantulas, my, my, my main focus was, and I think a lot of people's focus is the same, is when will my tarantula be the big size? You know, some of these tarantulas, they're going to take a long time before they finally get to their, their adult size. So next question is, when will it at least start showing some adult coloration? When will it look like a tarantula? That was more interesting to me. So I put a lot of videos together, and this one happens to be of my B. Smithy. And I'm going to get straight to it and show you from how long it took from the time my B. Smithy was a little tiny sling until he started showing some adult coloration. So without further ado, I hope you guys will enjoy. All right, picture number one here it was taken in February of 2022. This was the day that I purchased a sling. I purchased this guy at the Hamburg Reptile Expo here in Pennsylvania from a vendor named Pets Plus from Lockport, New York. This guy's at this show every time I go in the back corner. This is the first time I purchased a sling from him, but this little sling was purchased here in this pillow vial labeled as a B. Smithy, so that's why I purchased it. I definitely wanted to get a B. Smithy. I fed this guy once a week a roach, and before you know it, a month later, March in 2022, after I purchased it, he molted. He didn't take on any kind of coloration, didn't take on too much size. He's still very small, about the size of my thumb, but I kept feeding him steady once a week, and I would also spray some water in the corner of his little vial there in case he wanted some moisture. He never dug or showed any, any signs of wanting to dig. And you can see here, three months after I purchased it in May of 2022, this guy molted again. And this time he did take on a little bit of coloration. You can kind of see around the knee areas, the evidence of tiny little orange hair showing that he was gonna be a little red knee. And here we have six months after the purchase. Now I rehoused this guy into this container here. I didn't really get any footage of it. I lost the footage. I think I explained that in an older video. But once I put this guy in this container here, about two weeks later, he molted and didn't take on too much size. Didn't really show signs of getting any more coloration, but I kept feeding him steady like, a, like normal roaches and, and crickets. And, and eventually he did end up going in the pre-molt. All right, so at this point, this is seven months after I purchased it. This is September 22nd. And this is the molt that really caught my eye because in this molt here, not only did he take on coloration, but he pretty much doubled in size. And not only did he double in size, but he also changed as far as his behavior goes. After this molt, this guy became very skittish. And anytime I try to open a container to take any photos or take any videos or try to feed this guy, he would just pretty much take off running into that hide there. And it is also the first time in the seven months that I owned this guy that he would utilize his hide. Here we are, November 2022. This is nine months after I purchased it. At this point, the sling is in pre-molt. And you can see here that his coloration pretty much really dulled out. That's one thing I noticed about this guy here is that every time he would molt, he would show some nice coloration. Then right before pre-molt, he would dull out again, turning into like a dark, rusty kind of color. Now right here, this is December of 2022. This is 10 months after I purchased this guy. And you can see here he molted again. And I was able to get some beautiful up close shots of this guy still on his back, fresh right after the molt. At this part here, he flipped over and you can see his knees there. This is when I kind of knew. I looked at his knees and I said, wow, he took on some pretty good coloration here. Not only that, but he took on some really good size again. And before you know it, about a week later, he hardened up and I could really see those orange knees popping through. This is when I really knew he was entering the juvenile stage. This is the point where I actually decided I was going to make the second from Sling the Color Hood video here. This guy here, it took 10 months for him to get this size. It took 10 months for him to get this coloration and a total of five molts. Now that's how long it took me. It can take you a different length of time depending on how often you feed this guy and what temperatures you keep them at. But if you just started out into the hobby and you purchased yourself a B. Smithy, this video can help you to get an idea of how long it may take for you to have 
a brachypelma smithy from a sling until it gets the coloration. And just give you a little bit of a time frame that you may start seeing some adult coloration out of your brachypelma smithy. It took a little bit of patience and it did take some time, but if you stick at it and feed this guy regularly, you will see these beautiful colorations and you will be a happy person. I gotta say that from sling to colorhood, it took 10 months and it was well worth the wait. So at this point of the video, I'm going to leave you with some more clips, a few feeding clips, and some music. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video.